How much is too much? When it comes to alcohol consumption during pregnancy, the risk of fetal alcohol syndrome is well documented. But a survey conducted by the CDC shows 10% of pregnant women report having at least one alcoholic beverage. As Dave Delosier tells us, a new study shows even low exposure to alcohol can have so there's lifelong complications. As an OBGYN with UW Health, Dr. Kristen Sharp's job is to bring children into this world. But before they're born, consumption of alcohol by the mother can result in fetal alcohol syndrome. It can leave children with heart defects and influence craniofacial development. Morbidity of that comes with the intellectual um, difficulties that many of these children will have. But a study conducted in Australia looked at whether even a small amount of alcohol during pregnancy would cause a problem. They looked at more than 400 children whose mothers consumed a small amount of alcohol while pregnant. By using 3D imaging, they detected facial characteristics like smaller eyes, a thin upper lip, and a flat area above the upper lip consistent with fetal alcohol syndrome. I think it speaks to the fact that fetal alcohol syndrome isn't a 100% yes, you have it, and 100% no, you don't have it. It's more of a spectrum. The findings reinforce guidelines from the CDC that women who are pregnant abstain from alcohol consumption. That advice also applies to women who are trying to become pregnant. And the challenges with that um, is many women are several weeks pregnant before they know it. Um, and during that early phase of pregnancy as the embryo is forming, um, that's when the embryo can be at most at risk of having some of those negative effects. While more research is needed, enough is known about mixing alcohol with pregnancy to say this. I would recommend as a physician to play it safe and just avoid alcohol altogether in pregnancy. In Madison, this is Dave Delosier, WISC News 3. And the intellectual difficulties associated with fetal alcohol syndrome don't normally present until school age. Because the children in this study were just one year old at the time of the 3D facial scans, it can't be determined the full impact fetal alcohol syndrome will have on them.